Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and this is the defense review showdown. This will work out this way. I will be starting off to show you some players, and they are in one team. Later on, I will show you the other team, and I will rate them and talk about them, and you will see which team did better. Hector Bellerin starts at 58, and he has a potential up to 84. He is simply one of the best right backs I have ever used, and I had so much fun with him playing in that position because he goes forward so well and he's good at defending so i would rate him at an a plus the next player will be samuel amtiti the center back and he is a great player starts off at 74 has potential up to 86 his rating will be a b this is just because sometimes when i played him it really felt so weird he he seems to be amazing in the statistics but somehow a lot of times he did not do too well in the center back position for me the next one though is just simply amazing it is nathan ache starts off at 70 uh, 67 has a potential up to 87 and his rating will be an a plus because he plays so amazing he can play in the center defensive midfield position as well and that is why his statistics are so well rounded. Next player will be on the left hand side, it is Jethro Willems. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do a review on him and I can understand. This guy is just amazing, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, amazing pace, great dribbling and he has the giant throw in. And uh, one thing I did not like about him is that he is too high up the pitch a lot of times. Starts off at 70 to potential to 84 and he will get an A from me. After simulating one season with this team I could see that they have won the league and they have also won the cup and this team seems to be really amazing and of course two players I would highly suggest are Nathan Ake and Hector Bellerin. You will see how much they improved in one season. Hector Bellerin got plus 4, Antiti didn't improve at all, Nathan Ake got plus 2 and Jethro Williams got plus 1. Now we will get to the next team and the next team is really amazing. We will have a look at the right back at the start. It is Mattia De Ciglio and I really really love this guy. He is my favorite defender to use. He is just so well rounded and he could easily play on the right midfield position. He starts off at a 76, his potential goes up to an 89, in one of my career modes I got him up there. His rating is an A+, and I would definitely recommend you getting him in your team. Next one will be Eder Alvarez Balanta, and this guy was a nobody for me at the start of FIFA 14, then he got an upgrade or something. He starts off at an 74 and his potential goes up to an 85. This guy is pretty good, but he's not really that good at headers, so that is a really important thing in FIFA 14. His rating will be a B. The next player is the other center back. He starts off at a 76 and its potential goes up to an 89. I have gotten him to that one in one of my career modes and his rating will be an A. He is definitely not the fastest center back but he can play in the center defensive midfield position as well and has really well rounded statistics in his skill attributes and I really enjoyed having him. Since De Shiglio can play left back and right back, I decided to get Serge Aurier for the right back position and he is a great player, starts off at 77, has a potential up to 85, his rating will be an A- minus because he is running up and down the pitch too much as a right back, so that is one thing that was an issue with him, but he is a great player. You will see that this team has been winning the cup as well. Sorry, not the cup, it is the playoffs. I'm sorry it was wrong in the first team as well. It is the playoffs, not the cup. This team has finished as first at the end of the season as well, but they have conceded 25 goals. It is two more goals than the other defense. I played a couple of games with them and uh, let's take a look how much they improved in one year. Serge Aurier got plus two, Balanta got plus two, Matias Ginter got plus one and the Shiglio got plus two so on an average they got nearly plus two on every player and this defense was amazing 
<laughs> if you are wondering why I had Ibrahimovic, Messi and Ronaldo in the team, I just wanted to simulate the first season without being fired, so I had to get some strikers to score some goals. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, please tell me in the comments down below if you liked the first team more or the second one and tell me which one you would pick. 100 likes would be amazing, thank you so much for watching, take care.